Adamawa State Chapter of the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists is seeking the death penalty and other stringent, stringent punishment for rapists. They took to the streets of Yola to protest against a rising incidents of rape in the state, demanding the state government and the House of Assembly domesticate the child rights bill and enact a law that would protect potential rape victims. Uwolabi Adenusi filed in this report. A few days back, a 13-year-old girl was defiled by a 42-year-old man in Numa local government area of the state. This is only one of over 500 rape cases that has been recorded in the state within the last five months and majority of the victims are minors. Women journalists are not happy with the rise in rape cases and the fact that nothing has been done about it. They take to streets to register displeasure, demanding that the state government declares a state of emergency on rape. The placards they carry bear various inscriptions which pass across their demands very clearly. Now watch members are joined by representatives of other women groups. Their walk through street ends at the state secretariat in Jamaica, where they were received by the state commissioner of women affairs and social development, Lani Ganda. You are honorable. We are here to show our grievances, our displeasure. We are calling on the government to declare an emergency on rape in Adama State because it is becoming alarming. The pandemic is more than coronavirus. Break the origins. Great. The association also wants the state's first lady to lend her voice to this war against rape. Adama State, and uh, she gave us her assurance that the first lady, Lani Amadou, will speak to her husband so that they will speak to those legislators and I must House of Assembly so they can enact laws that will deal with those rapists. Their male counterparts in the Nigerian Union of Journalists are in support, expressing discomfort at having to report rape cases on an almost daily basis. Journalists are tired of reporting rape cases because the number of rape cases in, even in Adamawa State is on the rise. And there is need for all the stakeholders to come and join forces. The Commissioner for Women Affairs assures the protesters that Governor Amadou Fintri is passionately against rape and will take stringent measures against his perpetrators. I want to tell you that His Excellency, the Governor of Adama Ahmed, Amadou Umar Fintri, is also in this fight. And I want to assure you that the government will do everything at its end to see that this evil menace come to an end in the society. Adamawa State is one of the states in the country yet to domesticate child's rights. 